In this video, we will be assembling the Brindley Disc Harrow for use with lawn tractors and UTVs. Please note, this attachment requires a sleeve hitch to operate. The piece must be raised and lowered to operate correctly. Because of the variety of vehicles and sleeve hitch connections, the manufacturer of your lawn tractor will have to determine the correct sleeve hitch for your vehicle. Tools required for assembly. One 9 16th inch wrench. Two 3 quarter inch wrenches. And either two 10 inch adjustable wrenches or two extra large 1 and 1 8 inch wrenches. Step 1. Assembling the disc gangs. First, slide a 3 quarter inch washer onto one of the 3 quarter inch by 16 inch hex bolts. Then, slide a disc blade onto the bolt with the inside of the blade bowl facing away from the bolt head. Then, add another 3 quarter inch flat washer. Slide the plated disc spacer over the bolt and add another 3 quarter inch washer. Then, add another disc blade oriented in the same direction and another flat washer. Then add the bearing tube over the bolt and slide the disc hanger over the bearing tube with the extension at the top of the disc hanger pointed away from the bolt head. Add another washer to the bolt on top of the hanger and add another disc blade to the bolt oriented in the same direction. Add a flat washer and another plated disc spacer and another washer above the spacer. Then add the fourth disc blade and one more flat washer. Then add a 3 quarter inch hex nut to the bolt. And finally, a 3 quarter inch hex jam nut to the end. Use extreme caution when turning the disc gang on its side. The edges of the blades are sharp and the disc gang is heavy. One side of your disc harrow should now be assembled. Step 1B. Repeat step 1A to assemble the second harrow by first sliding a 3 quarter inch washer onto one of the 3 quarter inch by 16 inch hex head bolts. Then slide a disc blade onto the bolt with the inside of the blade bowl facing away from the bolt head. Add another 3 quarter inch flat washer, then slide the plated disc spacer over the bolt and add another 3 quarter inch washer. Then add another disc blade oriented in the same direction and another flat washer. Add the bearing tube over the bolt and slide the disc hanger over the bearing tube with the extension at the top of the disc hanger pointed away from the bolt head and add another washer to the bolt on top of the hanger. Then add another disc blade to the bolt oriented in the same direction. Add a flat washer and another plated disc spacer and a washer above the spacer. Then add the fourth disc blade and one more flat washer. Then add a 3 quarter inch hex nut to the bolt and finally a 3 quarter inch hex jam nut to the end. The second side of your disc harrow should now be assembled. Use caution when turning the disc gang on its side, the edges of the harrows are sharp and heavy. Then, using two 10 inch adjustable wrenches on the bolt end and the hex jam bolt, tighten the pieces in place, but leave them loose enough so that the discs can roll. Step 2. To attach the hitch bar to the tray, first flip the tray over and place the hitch bar in the center, making sure to orient the side with the single hole at the end of the tandem extension connector towards the rear of the tray, and the flat side with the three holes towards the front or vehicle hitch side of the tray. After lining up the square holes in the hitch bar and the tray, slide a 1 half inch by 1 and a quarter inch carriage bolt through the tray and hitch bar and add a half inch lock washer and a half inch hex nut. Then pass the second carriage bolt through the tray and hitch bar and add the lock washer and hex nut. Fully secure both bolts in place with a 3 quarter inch wrench. Step 2B. Add the adapter coupler by lining up the two holes in the coupler with the second and third hole in the hitch bar. Pass a half inch by one and a half inch hex bolt through both pieces, add a half inch lock washer and a hex nut to the end of the bolt, and secure in place with two three quarter inch wrenches. Then pass the second hex bolt through the hitch bar and coupler, add a lock washer and hex nut and secure in place with two 3 quarter inch wrenches. Step 3A, adding the discs to the hitch and tray. Normal operation of the discs are at a 15 degree angle with the two center blades as close together as possible. 
To set the harrows to 15 degrees, slide a carriage bolt from below through the slot in the tray that's the closest to the center. Then add a 3 8 inch lock washer and a 3 8 inch hex nut to the end of the carriage bolt. Add a second carriage bolt through the middle slot of the tray and the slotted hole in the disc hanger. Then add a 3 8 inch flat washer, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch hex nut to the end of the carriage bolt. The harrows can be adjusted from 10 to 20 degrees by sliding the outside bolt to either end of the slotted hole at the end of the disc hanger. When the desired angle and position is achieved, secure the bolts in place with a 9 16 inch wrench. Step 3B. Align the second disc hanger in a mirrored orientation to the first side, sliding a carriage bolt from below through the slot in the tray closest to center, then adding a 3 8 inch lock washer and a 3 8 inch hex nut to the end of the carriage bolt. Add a second carriage bolt through the middle slot of the tray and the slotted hole in the disc hanger, adding a 3 8 inch flat washer, a 3 8 inch lock washer, and a 3 8 inch hex nut to the end of the carriage bolt. When the desired angle and position is achieved, secure the bolts in place with a 9 16 inch wrench. Note, the hitch bar can also be used to hitch a second tandem harrow. In this case, it is recommended that you would attach the disc gangs of the second harrow on the outside slots of the tray for the greatest cultivation effect. Use the disc harrows after plowing to break up large clumps and achieve plant-ready soil. For questions, call Brindley Customer Service at 877-728-8224. Brindley, since 1839.